Hi guys, it's Val with Living Divine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, well, welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I talked about my locks. Actually, it was been a minute since I've been uh, back on this channel. I did a previous video talking about what's been going on, which is a lot. <sighs> a whole lot. But anyway, uh, most of you guys are on the channel or subscribe to me because of my locks. And you have questions about that. And I know when I was doing research on getting locks, I would be frustrated when people came on and talked about anything other than what I actually wanted to focus on. So I wanted to do this quick video to kind of address the top five questions people ask me about my locks. I will say that I do have a lock playlist that talks all about my locks and what I do to my locks. Literally nothing has changed, nothing has changed um i use the same conditioners i use the same same shampoos nothing has changed but i will give you a quick overview of that and and answer the top five questions so in reference to the questions question number one is how many locks do i have i have 278 locks um question number two is how were they installed I installed them myself. That is, my hair is all DIY. I um, maintain it myself. I installed it myself, and I installed them via braid locks. What I actually did was I um, installed close to 500 braids, little bitty tiny braids. I had a grid and everything. You know, I had all these little bitty tiny braids in my hair, um, and then allowed them to lock up. But what started happening is as they were uh, locking, I was very scalping. I'm going to put a picture of that somewhere up here or somewhere down here. I don't know where it shows up. But anyway, I'll put a picture of what I looked like the day after I did the full install. I had full, you know, grid and everything. And I think for me, because I, I had in my head that I would get all these locks. And I wanted to actually go sister locks initially. And sister locks are beautiful, so I'm not knocking sister locks, but sister locks are pricey. And my head would not wrap around uh, spending $1,200 for sister locks. Now, in doing my own locks, I get why they're so pricey. But the reality for me is for the bulk of my life, I've been a DIYer. The only person that really has ever done my hair is my sister, who's a beautician. When I had a relaxer, she would actually do it at that time, but I wouldn't even get relaxers often. So you go from a person that has pretty much always been a DIYer to saying, you know, I'm gonna charge you $12.50 to get your hair done. And that was not computing to me, right? I just couldn't process that um, until I started getting into actually doing my hair, uh, retying my hair, and I understand that that expensive price and I still think it's expensive is for the labor because sister locks are labor intensive um, you know kudos to anybody that has them kudos to anybody that does them that is a lot of work so I end up uh, doing braids because I'm thinking braids is simple I can do braids um, I saw a video when they talked about braids turning into locks so I was like let's try it you know what would it hurt so I, the picture that I post will be a picture of me with close to 500 braids y'all they were thin they were um my i was really scalpy my hair was see-through and the funny thing is that when i was younger i had this big thick mane of hair right um and i don't know if over time um my hair started thinning and that could be the case or if you know i was at that time i was wearing my hair i had been natural like 10 15 years plus before I decided to get locks and I was wearing it like uh, up in a puff most of the time so I don't know if me pulling it back in a puff maybe putting gel on the edges or whatever was causing it to have breakage and I just never saw it because my hair was natural right um, but that's ultimately when I actually did the braids I noticed that my hair was thin I hated it I hated it I know people struggle with, you know, this is the ugly phase and people struggle with that uh, term, but it was a very uncomfortable phase for me. Whatever you want to call it, it was an uncomfortable phase for me. 
I was just so hair lazy, I was determined to try to rock it out, see if I can actually allow my hair to lock. And my hair, if as far as texture, and you probably can't tell here, but my hair is probably a four A texture in, you know, kind of all of this area, all my crown area, and maybe my, um, maybe some of the area maybe right here is a 4b and then i go back to 4a so i don't have a, a a tight coily coily texture in some areas i just have waves but still you know it it, it was difficult to deal with with a different texture so um that's how i ended up getting braid locks and then i have fear of you know me my hair on my uh unraveling so i decided braids would actually do it so i installed close to 500 uh, braids and after i installed them i immediately washed them that day which made them a little bit fuller so the picture is actually after i washed them uh not before i don't know i think i'm pretty sure i did not take a picture before i washed them. but anyway after i washed them uh not before so um as i went on my journey I just thought it looked too thin. I thought my hair looked too scalpy. I was not feeling the whole, you could see every little box of where I had little bra. I just, that wasn't a look that I was feeling. Even though I love the look of Sister Locks based on some of the uh, uh, sisters I've seen. I decided that, who knows, let, let's try combining them. Cause ultimately if combining them didn't give me the look I wanted, I was going to take them out, cut them out, unravel them or whatever the situation was. So I just got some hair and the way I combined them was, let's say, like these two locks, at the time there were braids and smaller, of course, I'd put one through the other and just twist it down. You know, I twist it down, see if you can see, but anyway, I twist it down all the way and just did a little braid on the end, at the very end, so it wouldn't unravel. So then I would have that, um, Kind of fuller look and i actually started to really like that look and to be real honest for the first year and a half my hair looked like a twa it looked like a a, a teeny weeny afro if you don't know what that that means it, it just really looked like a twa because it started coiling and curling but i liked it because it started looking fuller and it stopped looking as scalpy once i combined them so that's how i end up getting 278 locks the next question is how often do I retie or how do I retie? Do I like um, do twist or do I interlock? So I interlock my hair. I do it about, I don't have a set schedule. It really depends upon how fast my hair is growing at the time. And you know your hair grows in seasons. So um, for the most part, it's two and a half to three months. I retie every two and a half to three months and I do three-point interlock rotation. And one of the reasons I do that is because I like the, the fullness and the fluffiness of a three-point rotation rather than the more condensed look of a four-point rotation. So I do three-point rotation. Again, it's every two and a half to three months. It might be a little longer if my hair's growing through a slow uh, growing season, uh, but that's pretty much consistently how often I do it. In reference to how often I wash, which is the next question, I wash as often as needed. <laughs> I don't have a set time. If my hair feels dirty, you know, I, I wash my hair. And, and I wash with shampoo and conditioner. But those are the only things I put in my hair. I don't put anything like gels or um, like twisting gels or anything like that. I don't do anything like that. I do shampoo and conditioner. One of the reasons I keep conditioner in is because I love the softness uh, of my hair. I don't like that firmer lock feel like that condensed lock feel I don't like that I like my hair to be soft I like it to be fluffy so I make sure I do shampoos and conditioners um and I rinse often because I do do water soluble products but I rinse a lot to make sure that there's nothing in my hair that will allow it to have buildup the um, next question is, do I still pick out like my ends? So I don't know, let me see if I can get a little closer. You probably can't see it now because this is a braid out. So for the most part, right now my ends are, are pretty much locked. Most times I pick out my ends because I like my ends to be curly. I like more of a natural curly look. I don't like the whole, the hard, 
let's see if you might can see this one better this one more curly maybe okay so I don't like the hard solidified lock look on ends for me now what I did was and I'm doing something a little different is I recently probably about three months ago I started cutting out some of the layers I've always cut my hair in layers since I've been locked anyway because I think it gives a fuller look well before I got locked I used to pretty much rock a bob all the time so I almost want to see what it's like to have a lock bob right so I, what I didn't want to do is for me to get a lock bob at this point I would almost have to cut my hair this kind of layerish good so uh maybe like right here and it still probably would look great right it still probably would look great i probably have to take all this out but cut it about cut it about right here let's see Pull it back. maybe about like here to kind of get a lot bob um which may look really nice but because before I get to the point of cutting a shorter lock bob, I wanted to see what it's like to have kind of a longer lock bob to see if I like it first. Um, I used to love a bob in the past, but again, I'm hair lazy. My fear is, in reference to cutting a shorter lock bob, is that me going to the gym or whatever, sticking my hair up, that I'm gonna have all this hair sticking out and looking really weird, so, you know. So I still want to, uh, as much as I love it and i love locks and i love the bob look i still want to look cute right <laughs> so that's why i have not cut it but i have and it's in reference to cut it shorter but i have cut off the curly ends in trying to cut off the layers now i will say that um soon when i have time i'm going to pick some pick some of these ends out simply because i do like a curlier look i think it for me i think it looks more natural when you have a curlier look on locks that's me that's that's what I like for me okay so um, the last question I get all the time in reference to my locks is how do I keep them so full and fluffy and you guys I know that the beginning of locks uh, you get that frizzy look and you know you don't like it and you try to figure out how to you know make it more look more uh, groomed but the best thing I can tell you in reference to my locks is embrace the frizz that's going to be really hard to do. And I'm going to tell you, it was really, really hard for me to do at the beginning of my lock phase. And let me tell you what that means. Because people say that all the time. And you don't understand what that means. So, let's see if I can take one out. And again, my hair has been um, braided. So, this is a braid out. And it's really hard to tell because braid outs control the frizz a little bit, right? Even though it might give you more volume, it controls the frizz. But what I don't do, if you see, let me get it, see if I can get a little closer. So you can see that frizz in my hair? And I'm pulling it out now so you guys can see it. But I have this, this over every lock in my hair. And I can go on, again, this is a braid out. So I'm doing this only so you guys can see this. But part of that allows my hair to even give the appearance of being bigger and fuller than it actually is. Um, I don't spend time, you know, in reference to, let's say, rolling my hair so you can have this nice uh, solidified lock look. I don't take the uh, tool to pull the frizz into the hair. I allow every lock to be frizzy. And I'm gonna tell you, if you see it up close, my hair up close, and I'm gonna try to get up as close as you can see it, when people see it, they think it's, it's beautiful, right? But if you saw it, like, right after I wash it, and not saying they wouldn't think it was great then, but you understand that my hair is frizzy and I love it because it reminds me of loose natural hair. So when I do a braid out, it reminds me of, I mean, I could never get a braid out like this when I had loose natural, but it reminds me almost of what a loose natural braid out would look like because I'm not trying to make it perfect. You know, I, I do have, I mean, I don't lay down these edges you know or which if if you do that good for you you know do you right uh but for me i don't i do minimal stuff to my hair i don't pull it uh back which causes tension i don't have any problems with uh, traction alopecia or any of that stuff that happens 
in, in reference to our hair that causes the thinning. So I'm gonna say that you just really have to take care of your locks like you take care of your loose natural hair. To me, sometimes even more so because you got to condense in a lock and you need to make sure that you get the proper nutrients to your hair. So hopefully that answers most of your questions. If I have not answered something or uh, if there's something specific you need me to go over, please let me know. Um, in reference to products I've talked about, um, I actually have a video where I talked about I use uh, Joyco moisturizer and conditioner. It's almost the only shampoo and conditioner I use. I would say 99% of the time it's the only shampoo and conditioner I use. And I've used tons of uh, conditioners and shampoos, uh, but that seems to do my hair well. So I'm one of those people that if it works, why change it? So that's kind of what I'm dealing with. I have no issue with um, buildup. Uh, my hair is very light and fluffy. I ask, get asked all the time, is it heavy? It is absolutely not heavy. The only time I feel any weight on my hair is right after I wash it. And that's because it's full of water. As soon as the water, you know, is gone or whatever, I feel no weight on my hair. Uh, I have no issue with buildup either, but I rinse a very long time in reference to my hair. So that is pretty much all I have in reference to my locks. I'm going to do a quick... Uh, turn and so you guys can see it up close if you have any questions please let me know i have no problem with answering your questions i just need to know what you need to know and to be able to encourage you in your journey it does get better i'm gonna say less and less is more in reference to locks uh for me when i first started out in reference to my life journey i rocked a whole lot of headbands i like silk headbands so my hair wouldn't get stuck in them but i rocked a whole lot of headbands so i could look cute so Anyway, the, again, I'm about to do a 360. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next video.